Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that our Sand and Sea collection is available right now at Royalty Soaps. This month's new soaps include Coconut Lime Verbena, Grapefruit Guava, Coral Rainbow, Sea Glass and Salt Water, and today's soap, Dragon Fruit Acai. We also just launched the summer themed wax melt, so you can get everything once again right now at RoyaltySoaps.com. Enjoy the video. Do y'all remember when dragon fruit acai bowls were all the rage? Because I do, I'll never forget it because <gasps> They're so tasty. Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie and today we're going to be making some acai bowl inspired soap with little dragon fruit balls on top. Obviously, I'm not putting real dragon fruit on top of this soap. It is just a soap gum ball made with melt and pour, but I am going to be adding some dragon fruit powder and some acai powder to the soap itself for a tiny bit of mild exfoliation. And because it's always fun to add weird additives to a soap. So without further ado, let's make some dragon fruit acai cold process soap. Out of all the soaps that I'm making this month, this one has me the most intimidated, which is really, really rare for an artisan soap or a soap that doesn't have any frosting. But because of the layering, because of the just sheer volume of dishes I'm gonna have to use to get this right, it's just pushing me out of my comfort zone in a way I'm not really enjoying. <laughs> I also banged up my leg today and now my left calf is like super, super tight. And I don't know if I like bruised it. It feels like the muscle has locked up. <laughs> So I'm trying to balance a little bit more on one leg while doing this. So thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Injured soap maker attempts intricate design. I can see the headlines now. I added the lye water solution in already. Everything's room temperature. I actually had to heat the oils up just a little bit to get it to do right. All right, everything is all blended up. So let's go ahead and start getting all these accent colors. First, we have two little ones. Both of these are going to be lime green. I'm gonna set these off to the side. Then I'm going to pour some into each of these large containers. Okay, and then this large container is going to be our white layer to kind of represent our dragon fruit inside. The goal here is going to be to not forget the order. Right. So this is the top layer and the bottom layer. We're going to color it with a mix here of some grape ape and some hot pink. The hot pink is called Pretty Kitty. And then I'm also going to add in some powder. This is acai powder and dragon fruit powder. So it's naturally colored, but this is going to lend a really nice exfoliant to this soap. I'm just going to add about half of it here, about half into the other one. We're not using this to color the soap. It won't remain this bright red color through the saponification process. It's just to add some of the actual fruits and extracts into the soap and like I said, to add a little bit of exfoliation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the color. We are also going to add the fragrance blend. So this is a custom blend. I added some blueberry fragrance oil, some acai dragon fruit, some, well, some other tropical fragrances with a little bit of sort of like a sweet fruitiness. So it's a really good blend. Got our big mold here and I'm going to blend up our first layer. Y'all look at this color. Is this not just screaming like berry smoothie bowl to you? I know it is to me. This looks like every acai bowl I've ever gotten, which is exactly what I wanted. And I knew I was gonna need to use some vibrant colors to get this. And I don't know if it's going to morph over time. So here's to hoping. I am gonna scrape this out really well. We're not gonna be using this because obviously Obviously, our other container will be the top, so there's no need to save any. Wow, that smells incredible. Okay, this is pretty set, so I'm going to go ahead and texture the layer. My gosh, it smells so good. And the fragrance oil does yellow a little bit, and so I measured out my colorants with that in mind. I knew that it was going to yellow the batter, and my goal with the inside is just to represent the dragon fruit, because dragon fruit is kind of 
a red color. And then it has on the very tips of it, like this little bit of green. So that's what I'm gonna do here. It doesn't have to cover everything. It does need to be in every bar. I think it not covering everything might actually look better, but I don't know, as I'm pouring, it looks like we might get a pretty, a pretty good coverage here. So these two layers and the top two layers are going to represent the outside of the dragon fruit and then the middle layer will represent the inside. And I have made, I believe it was called acai bowl. I don't remember, I'd have to look it up, but I have made a soap very similar to this in the past. It had these really cool like embeds in the middle that looked like someone had taken a melon baller and <laughs> done the inside of a dragon fruit. And then it had a lot of cute little like exfoliants on top that made it look like an acai bowl. That was one of my favorite soaps I ever made, but it did not sell well at all. People did not like that. I don't know if it was the color or if like the reference was too niche. I don't know, but yeah, it wasn't a grand slam. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So I feel like I'm taking a huge risk <laughs> with this design. I have my next layer all ready to go. I'm gonna scoot this to the side so you guys can see me blend it. This has poppy seeds in it for some more exfoliation and to sort of give it that dragon color. It also has titanium dioxide in it. So as you can see, this is the color that the fragrance oil turns the soap. Um, I haven't blended in the titanium dioxide really good yet, so you haven't seen it get as light as it's going to get. But yeah, that's some severe discoloration. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead, ladle this on. It's all right if it breaks through, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit separate from the green because they are kind of similar in color now. All right, give this a little bit of texture, just a little bit. Then we'll get that green mixed up. This is going a lot smoother than I anticipated. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that fragrant soil. This soap makes me want a smoothie so bad. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to gently texture the top. I'm just gonna pull to the middle here, just like so. Here is my dragon fruit acai glitter blend. We have some black stardust. We have a bit of rosy stardust. I mean, it's just a lot of different colors that I have put together for this particular soap. Okay, it was very thoughtful. I love the addition of the black in this because I feel like it ties together really good with what is in the middle of the soap. So they can kind of look at the top, look at the sides, and it all blends together so pretty. La la la. Okay, just sprinkle all the rest around. And now we can add our little dragon fruit soap balls. So we made this with our signature soap gumball embed and then we added some poppy seeds into it so it would look like dragon fruit which is so cute, so pretty, smells so good. I don't know why I was so intimidated by this soap because now that I'm actually doing it it's not that big a deal. Also I think this might be thick enough for me to do Caleb's little, uh, yes it is, to just make the little mark dead in the center, which makes placement so much easier. And then I don't have to use the grid because the grid makes it a little more difficult to do perfect placement. Okay, awesome. Let's put the rest of these in. I'm getting started on pretty much the healthiest summer I've probably had in my whole adult life, which takes a lot of work. <laughs> For those of y'all that are really health conscious, that probably is like no surprise, but I, I guess I just haven't valued it. I haven't made time for it as an adult. And so trying to jump in and clean up my diet and actually focus on exercise, which I don't enjoy, okay? I'm not one of those people that's like, this is a fun activity for me. I'm like, a fun activity for me is to be a lounge lizard, okay? Is to sit in a chair and have a little drinky winky and read a book. That is what is fun for me. So trying to get to the point where I enjoy exercise has been a struggle. <laughs> 
but I'm also trying to make changes sustainably because quite frankly, I am pre-diabetic. It runs in my family. I just got that all figured out with my doctor and I have to make some very realistic changes in the near future to avoid some pretty serious health complications. So I don't really have a lot of options here. This is just something that I need to do for me, for my kids, for my family, like just, just in general. So I'm trying, if it's something that I have to do, which at this point it is, I'm trying to have a good attitude about it because having a stinky attitude about it kind of does nothing but discourage me from something I know I have to do. So I keep trying to hype myself up and kind of fake it till I make it. <laughs> little bit and be like, no, you're going to feel so much better after this. You know, just enjoy every second. If you can remember that it's all going to pay off so that you feel better and you have more energy and you get to sleep better, like kind of positive pep talking myself into doing something. And I'm hoping if I can keep that up for long enough, I will actually start enjoying the exercise portion and the eating portion. I'm also trying to do my best to take some time to just kind of detox and relax. I started doing cold plunges in March which I can't tell you how difficult that was for me. I was surprised. I was like, hey, it's just like, you know, getting the cold water. What's the big deal? But like your body fights that with every, especially if you're kind of undisciplined like me, admittedly. <laughs> They're like, the cold, Katie, you don't want to be in the cold. The cold is bad. It will make you feel bad. Don't you want to cozy up? Don't you want to sleep in? So like trying to be a disciplined adult, uh, Nobody talks about the struggle. <laughs> Especially when you're like a business owner and a mom and a wife and like all the other things. It's weird. <laughs> well, there we go. It's still looking really cute on the top of this soap. I don't know how that color is going to look tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to purple up a little bit or if it's going to stay red like this. We'll just have to see. And uh, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. Let me zoom you in very gently. We'll split the slab into loaves, cut it into the bars after this quick commercial break. we have our <laughs> dragon fruit soap. Look how cute. Now, I will say I did make this darker. I did do it. I like the purple on this batch and I really like all the texture in here from the acai powder, but I did want the purple to be darker. So I did change that and I changed the green as well. So everything is a little more vibrant on future batches. I'm going to have to turn this on the side. I thought I could do it straight up, but little soap gumballs are hard to judge sometimes. <laughs> all right. That looks good. Woo. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Look how cute. And ooh, mm, it smells so good. I, it is very well fragranced, but it's not like overpowering. So this is what I would call a medium strength scent for those of y'all who like something that isn't so overwhelming. It's going to like smell up your whole bathroom. All right. So question of the day. This is really silly. <laughs> <laughs> what name, when you were a child, did you pick for yourself when you were playing imaginary games? <laughs> I don't know, maybe y'all didn't play imaginary games as much as I did when I was a kid, but whenever I did, I had a certain like go-to names that were always the ones that I picked. Erin was one of them, E-R-I-N. I thought that was the most gorgeous name. I thought Crystal was the most gorgeous name. I'm trying to remember anymore, but the, <laughs> those are the two that come to mind. And I would just absolutely love to know if you guys had names that were like that. They don't have to be real names. I picked some, but you know, Kenny was out there making them up and naming himself Tita. So if you named a, if you picked out a name that isn't even real, let us know because that's even funnier. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Has it inspired you to go out and get a little acai bowl? It was the saddest day to me whenever Costco stopped carrying them because those were so good. They were such a good price. Um, if you are in the DFW area, let me know your favorite place to go get a smoothie bowl or like an acai bowl because I just don't want to do the looking and then be disappointed. I want a pre-vetted acai bowl that somebody has already told me is really good. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today like making a smoothie at home or maybe having someone else make you one and you just going through a drive through I don't really care what you do. Just do something for you. I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.